Are old players really sick of how bloated modern Minecraft feels, or are they actually just upset it doesn't feel and look the same as it used to? This mod for Java Edition really pushes that controversial question to its limits, so long as you know that by old players, I mean players who grew up on console editions of the game, such as myself who grew up on Xbox Legacy Editions of Minecraft. I decided to see how modern Minecraft would feel being played with all the legacy features such as the Gamma Slider or the Legacy Crafting Menu, but with the modern Minecraft update features such as new biomes or the nether update. If you want to do this yourself, by the way, there's a link in the description to the Curse Forge download page and also the Legacy 4J mod itself. Just by the way, this mod is also controller compatible, but I wanted to cross over the vibes of Legacy and Modern Minecraft as much as possible, and I thought a cool way to do that would be with playing on keyboard and mouse, even if that isn't entirely the intended experience. Loading up this modded version of Java, I was blown away with how much it felt like I was loading up Xbox 360 edition 10 years ago. The sound effects add a lot of impact. First things first, I wanted to open a brand new 1.20 world and check out some modern features. This is so weird, I'm loading up the Legacy Edition with some uh, 1.20 song playing in the background. Initially when I was testing this game, I was like I was loading it up to see what it was like. Like the home menu, see how the multiplayer stuff worked. I didn't get any modern music, I got the like classic like beginning to song or whatever that plays when you load up the, like the legacy versions of the game. It's very interesting, I pressed record and then it started playing this song and my brain is... My brain struggle. <laughs> yeah, my brain struggle. Yeah, exactly. My brain is struggling to compute if I'm playing modern Minecraft or Legacy. Not, I, I wouldn't even say my eyes are confused with my ears because look, listen to this. That's classic, dude. Classic. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It does feel a bit strange to use my uh, my mouse uh, to move around Legacy versions, but yeah, I just wanted to get that 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 overlap, I guess. So yeah, we can go into play game. Oh, Fuck, man. It's so weird seeing this blank. I don't think I have any version, any any legacy versions, and trust me, I have a lot of legacy versions. All of them have played games in them, so this is pretty weird to see them blank. I'm interested, I, I actually am not that interested. I assume they just have the same tutorial world up that I explored in my most recent video when I was making topics on Legacy Edition. So let's create a new world and oh my god, we've even got the- this is crazy. This is crazy. Look at this. This is a crazy mod. Holy shit, the the, the overhaul. Uh, let's just call it Unoriginal Legacy. All right, let's see what 1.20 looks like in, in Legacy Edition. I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's like two friends that you're really good friends with separately meeting. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, this feels very- this doesn't feel very- very legacy. Okay, already with the gamma slider. Wait, you. Oh, I got my little guy in the top. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this. This is crazy. And I'm doing it with. Sorry for the irritating noises, but I'm, I'm doing this with, with my mouse, which is. It just feels so weird. This is so cool. Look at me, what is this? Console edition? So, yeah, after messing around with the settings a bunch, honestly, it was just the gamma slider that did it. You get a very authentic legacy feel. I'd like to check out some stuff that's like quintessentially Java in this legacy feel. So, we're gonna go into creative mode. Oh my god, they even have an advancement. <laughs> oh my god, they even have an advancement. That's many, that's awesome. So yeah, let's check out, let's, oh. Oh, they even, oh my God, they even have the creative, what? They even have the creative mode, like flying features of, of legacy. You go so much quicker f going forward. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta try something, I gotta, uh, look at this creative menu. Oh, dude, I feel like a kid. Just check this out, let's check this out. Oh my God. Classic. Oh my goodness. The Salt Delta Legacy Edition. This is so cool. This is so cool. It does, I think because the lighting is less obvious in the nether, it doesn't really feel as insanely legacy y. But just that character being there in like the in the in the top left. Oh, oh this is so cool. That character being there in the top left, I think it just helps a lot make it like consistently feel like legacy. Wow. Okay, okay, Jesus, <laughs> this is the tutorial system. I mean, the achievement system is really hectic. <gasps> oh my God, cherry blossom biome. This is fucking awesome. Ah, oh, there goes the sunset. So multiplayer is supposed to work on this version, on this mod, but let me give you a demonstration of all the ones I've tried. <laughs> none of them, 
none of them work. But what I've in what I've imported are, are two worlds people on the channel should know quite well. One of them is the beta world, which um, is in the video that did very, very well, which is 100 days in Minecraft beta, if you haven't seen that. And I wanted to just explore that initially. And then I was like, mm, hold on. The whole point is that we're trying to explore new Minecraft in this mod pack. So I also imported the latest backup I have of my of my main world, which is the Minecraft survival series running on my channel, just to check those two out and see how they feel in the legacy vibe of the game, which I think will be quite funny. Let's check out an old version of Java Edition combined with the vibe of an old version of Legacy Edition, or just, you know, Legacy Edition, which I think is an interesting combination in and of itself. Oh, hey, <laughs> sorry about this, guys, but um, you wanna see some behind the scenes for how I did the uh, the, 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 the thumbnail? A whole, lot of, a whole lot of this, and I think some replay mod. Yeah, I, I literally did a green screen in Minecraft. So there's some behind the scenes for you. But here is our, is our world that you all should know very, very well. I, I was trying to put this in survival mode, I swear. Sorry, launched in survival mode, but so be it. Nether portal's a bit broken. The lighting is a bit too good, probably because my gamma's all the way up. In beta, in beta, you'll see if I just put the beta over here, you'll see uh, that it's very dark, much darker than this. I'm not entirely sure if this is even the full completed version or if it just isn't, oh, it just isn't loading in the chests. This is very interesting. It feels like I'm on an Xbox world, but the movement and movement of the camera and the movement of like the keyboard and stuff, it makes it feel like I'm in my normal beta world, but obviously I'm also running around which uh, was very much not possible in my beta world so it feels like a much less relaxed uh, world but it is super nice to explore it this way as opposed to the beta way which I'm gonna be honest is not fun this is so weird it feels so like okay duh, I do not need an explanation every fucking time Jesus hints off please okay I can look at everything now yes yeah, Christ oh wow okay but it's got the um, modern texture pack which is already just very off-putting for this beta world um, I never thought I'd see it in this light. Oh, this is so strange. This is so strange seeing my beautiful beta world desecrated by modern texture packs. Clay is still here. I don't know why he has an orange collar. Awesome. Okay, yeah. This feels this feels very legacy, but also weirdly modern. Just definitely doesn't feel beta, but also it feels overwhelmingly beta because this is my hard worked on beta world. This old version in a different kind of old version vibe. And then we can also check out a more modern version after we finish off by looking at this beautiful Herobrine spawner, which by the way, I actually built wrong. This is supposed to be mossy cobblestone as people have told me, but I uh, don't care. This feels, suddenly it feels like I'm playing on an Xbox world instead of my beta world, even though I spent a hundred days in this beta world. Oh, this is, this is fucking hilarious. The sun is in the, the sun is in the wrong place. It usually sets over there in my beta world. That's funny. Cardinal direction shift. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful in legacy. So let's go check out some, some of my main world in this legacy vibe. All right, let's load in. I don't think it actually matters what mode I put this in. It's going to put me in whatever mode I had it on Java edition. And I think that that was likely creative mode. That's okay though. Oh, wow. I'm in spectator mode. Ah, here we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the towers of Adama in legacy edition. Ah, the snow falling. This is so pretty. Ah, <laughs> my beautiful, my beautiful map room. Yes. I'm not going to lie. This looks more or less the same, obviously with some saturation effects that it does in my world and without the added effect of the HUD and the little running character in the top left who I miss very dearly right now. But let's check out the mines of Gouveia and see if we get a different vibe here. No, nah, no, not really. I'm, <laughs> yeah, this world more or less looks the same. I unfortunately can't sleep in spectator mode, so I can't even, oh, there's, there's my deep dark secret, by the way, about Cathedral Zero. It's hot. I unfortunately can't sleep and get rid of this horrible, horrible rain noise. It does definitely feel like, again, almost as if I had this open on Xbox One edition, but it feels a lot more logically close to home for this world because all of my past main worlds have been on the Legacy Editions at some point. And it doesn't feel as crazy to feel like I'm on Legacy Edition here as it does for the famously Java Edition, you know, beta gameplay you get. Anyway, before this pelting of rain, which is probably pixelating the entire screen right now, puts you off to much. I'm going to call it here for the exploration of Newland and the Legacy vibe and say that I highly, highly recommend this mod if you're looking to take some of your Java worlds and make them feel like you were playing on the Legacy versions you grew up on. Because I think that is the, the biggest thing for me. It's clear that the difference in how I feel going through this world as to how I felt going through the beta world is quite drastic. I mean, other than right now looking at this head on and seeing the difference in the lighting and shading and stuff, this felt more or less the same as when I usually used to 
play it on console edition and previous worlds like it on legacy edition, but the beta world, for example, is a quintessentially Java world. So if you have exclusively Java worlds and you wanna get that old feeling, that old vibe of uh, the legacy versions, I would highly recommend installing this mod and transferring your save files to the CurseForge mod so that you can see how these worlds look and feel in the legacy vibe because it really is quite a cool experience. And I hope some of you got a similar kind of experience watching me go through the beta world, which a lot of you probably know and love. I hope you enjoyed this essentially, I guess, mod showcase for the Legacy 4J mod for Java Edition and have a good one. I'll see you around.